Hey guys, Brian Holder here. Brian Holder, graphic and web design. Coming at you with a WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to make a mobile menu bar and a header for a mobile device that floats to the top of the page on the device. So right now we're looking at it in a web browser. Uh, so this bar is stretched out way too far. And you can see this looks really thin. On a mobile device, this will just fill the screen. This is formatted for uh, 320 pixel width. Uh, and what we have is a uh, mobile inspired menu bar right here that only shows up when you hover over the menu bar button. Uh, on a mobile device, you, you know, there is no hover. You would just click on this and then the menu would appear below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I uh, prepared a few images uh, prior to this in Adobe Fireworks. So I prepared the background image, the menu bar image, the hover image that happens when we click on it, you see that it fades out a little bit. And then uh, each one of these is a separate image as well. Um, the, the word is not an image, it's just the background image and the lines that you see separating them. Uh, I am going to provide this exact template right here that you're looking at in Adobe, uh, I'm sorry, uh, in uh, a template format for WYSIWYG so that you can download it and you'll get all the images that way you want the images. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is we need to create a layer. And based on the images that I created, my layer needs to be, actually, you know what? Let's not even create the layer yet. Let's format the page first. First thing we want to do is format this page. So we're going to go to Page Properties. And we want to target screen size. We want to change that to Apple iPhone. Okay. Hit OK. And you'll see now that the bar up here is at 320 pixels. What I'm going to do is drag out a couple of guides here so I can keep track of myself. So I'm pulling out at 320. I'm pulling out at 300. And I'm going to pull one out at about 20 pixels. And I'm going to lock these guys up. So now I can see how wide the screen is. The screen is all the way to this side, and then you know, give myself a little bit of padding on each side. Okay. Now we're ready for that layer. So let's go ahead and grab a layer. Oops, I want to crash this one. And I'm just going to plop it in the middle of the screen. I like to just come over here. I know that I need it to be 320 pixels by 50. So I'll size it right there. And let's put it up at the top of the screen in the corner. We're going to style it first, so let's give it my background. I'm going to choose an image. Come in here, and I have menu BG, which is the background image. And all of this is fine, because we've already sized it, so it can repeat. The next thing we're going to do, on the, under the general tab, location and size. For the mode, we want this to be a, let me think about this. I think a docking layer. Yes, hit docking layer and then hit dock top. The alignment is centered. Okay. And so now when we go to preview this, you'll see that this thing goes all the way across. And that'll adjust depending on the size of the screen that you're, that you're displaying that on. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is create the menu bar. Actually, let's pop the logo in. Just an image for this case. Pop the logo in there. All right, that's pretty close to center. Oops, I double clicked the image there. Oh, it froze my hand there. All righty. Now let's go ahead and get this menu bar created. What we're going to use is CSS menu. Actually, my favorite menu bar to use. I used to use uh, almost exclusively the menu bar one, um, but I started playing with the CSS menu, and I feel like there's a little bit more we can do with it, and I like that. Okay, so we're going to remove all the default buttons in there, so we have nothing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a button. This button is not going to have any text in it. So we're going to delete what says item one. So you see that once you do that, you can't hit OK. Well, we're just going to put a space in there. Just hit the space bar once. That's all. 
and hit OK. So you should have a button with no text. Under that, with that button selected, under Uh, with that selected, we're going to start adding in our other actual buttons. Because this is going to be the menu bar uh, hamburger button, and then this is going to be the submenu that shows up after you click it. So we have home, about us, services. Oh, and you know what? No, it doesn't matter. We don't really have anything to link it to, anyways, yet. Products. And I'll just throw in contact us. So it looks nice. And we're going to hit OK. Uh, these options down here, synchronous, you know, you may want to do some of these depending on the site you're setting up. Uh, synchronize with Site Manager just means that it'll display everything in the Site Manager. Uh, and then uh, anything that you have uh, selected to be displayed. Uh, miscellaneous, use Hover State to indicate the current page. Um, we don't need to do you won't be able to see the menu anyway, so it'll be behind that uh, hamburger button. Okay, so to style this, the main menu is actually going to be that hamburger button, okay? And then the sub-menu is going to be the actual, the real menu that pops up below that. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, we have a fixed width, which is going to be 52 pixels wide. And I know that because that's the size of the button that I created. And the height is 48 pixels. Facing, we're going to remove, and that's it for that option. Uh, main menu, I don't have any options here I need to select. Let's leave it transparent. Mode, I want that to be transparent as well. I don't want a background color. I'm going to remove the border. I don't want a border on this. Images, this is where I'm going to put in my hamburger button. So the normal button is there. And then if there's a sub-menu, same, same button. And then the hover mode is going to be the one that's a little bit lighter that I created. Okay. We're going to line this in the center. Actually, it's just the center. I think I want that. And we don't need to repeat this, so let's hit do not repeat. And that should be it. Now, I'm going to remove the padding. I don't think that matters because we don't have text, but just in case. And that should be it for the main menu. Now let's go and style the sub-menu. Sub-menu, same thing. We want a 320 pixel width. 50 pixel height. I know that because that's the size of the image I created. Again, background, again, it's going to be transparent. I don't want a color there. I'm going to remove the border. And that's it. Images, I'm going to dump in my uh, menu background for the sub-item. That's going to be the same on all four of these options. I don't need a I don't need a hover image because there is no hover on a mobile device. Okay, line horizontally and then center or bottom alignment doesn't matter because we have it fit to the exact size of the image. Shadow we don't have to worry about and the text. I'm going to change the color to white or a lighter color. Um, padding doesn't matter. I'm going to remove all the padding because we want it to be in the center area. And then that's just going to be it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think that it's all set. Let's hit OK. And here's the menu here. So we're going to shrink this down to the size of 52 by 48. That way it fits nicely in there. I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's where I want that to be. Um, I'm not sure why this is white. We'll figure that out. Well, let's preview it and see. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take a look.
All right, so that looks good. Um, the only thing I need to do is I, I don't know why that's floating in the middle. Let's fix that real quick. Not too much. The reason I want this aligned to the left is so I can make sure that there's no, um, see, that, see that gap right there? I wanted to make sure that that gap didn't exist, and it does. So what we're going to do is go in here, and we're going to find out where that happens. Style, something in the submenu here. Background, border, images, text, some padding, or something somewhere. Where is it? Oh, you know what it was? Where was it? I had to do an offset because the whole menu is five pixels off. I'm going to have to go five pixels negative on the x axis. All right. So, however far, like the position of this, this menu object, you see how it's at five pixels off, off the left edge here? What we're going to do is offset that. We need to correct that. So what we're going to do is go negative 5 right here where it says uh, offset X. We're going to put that in negative 5. And what that's going to do is put that submenu up against that left edge. Let's take a look, make sure that worked, and it did not. How does that work? How does I get to work on this? This sort of right there. Let's just bump that up a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's explore this. Let's open up the... Uh, Original one here and see what uh, see what it did. Okay, so the original one is ten pixels off. Fifty-two by forty-eight. Ten pixels off. Ah, okay. All right. My bad. Okay, so I was right. We do need to go five pixels. Um, but not down here in the sub menu. We want it to be up here in the main menu. So five pixels off, and now we should be aligned to the. Uh, oops. Now we should be aligned up to the left. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's it. That's how you create it. Uh, the only other thing I did on the other template there was I just added a bunch of text in here so we could see it scrolling with the menu bar not moving. We, we fixated on the top. Uh, and you can do this uh, for a lot of cool things. You can have this be at the uh, at the bottom, the top. You can dock it to the left or the right. If you had a, a skinny one, um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. So hopefully you like this tutorial. It feels good getting these in. Uh, next week I start my new job, which is great because I'm going to have some more time uh, in the evenings and, and on the weekends to uh, really uh, crank out some more of these tutorials i miss doing these it's been a while since i've been able to crank one out so uh if you like this episode please give me a thumbs up i love seeing those come in makes me feel good makes me want to do more of these and i'll catch you guys on the next one i can't wait thanks